All right, we have a new game, D4. Now, before this game gets uh, inevitably super exciting, as uh, all my previous games had been, I want to share some uh, info about myself. I'm a software developer who took a break uh, from programming. And in this break, as... Uh, in this break, among other things, uh, Bishop E7, I'm uh, making YouTube videos because uh, YouTube videos are fun. C5. Yeah, I think I should think a bit because uh, otherwise this game might get very short. Bishop F6, okay. All right, nice e6. Yeah. Did I drop a pawn already? Who knows? B4. Can I get this back? Can he defend it with b4? Can I uh, get it with queen c7? Do I have all my pieces? One, two, three, two rooks. One, two, three, two rooks. Okay, we're good. So he will castle. Where he puts this knight? Probably here. I have ideas like maybe e5 at some point and e4. How about now, actually? Would that work? e5? Threatening e4, he plays e4, e5, e4, d4, takes, takes. Let's get this pawn first. He wants to take that pawn. Yes, he would, he does. Interesting. Oof. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see now. I wasn't thinking much about this. I thought this is not good, but who knows? Maybe it is. If I play g6, then he will probably take it. I take it. He gives me a check. And he gave the bishop for three pawns. At least. All right. Well, let's play e5 then. I mean, I'm threatening e4 and then taking the bishop, and this bishop can't go here because the pawn takes it. He can't go here. Maybe he can, actually. All right. Well, let's play e4, then. He won a pawn. What can you do? He won a pawn. But can he castle here now, with this rook here, I wonder? Maybe he can. I want to put this knight here, I guess. And then there. So he probably has to take it. Maybe he has to take it, I don't know, otherwise... Oh yeah, he can also pin it, of course. Do I want to castle? Let's get out of this pin, simply. Basically saying that I'm eyeing that h2 pawn. This king is good on g8. Knight there. All right, let's go. Knight here and knight there with check. The only question is then, how will I make b5 work? Because I can't. How will I attack him here on the queen side if uh, he castled short? All right. <sighs> Takes queen here. How about queen here? Nah. 
queen here well I want to attack him can I attack him I want to come here maybe he will have to play h3 what then knight g4 knight f3 takes 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 there's quite a lot of um How about knight here and there? How about knight here and there? How to how to attack? <clears throat> Someone said you need three pieces to attack the king. Well, I have one, two, three, four. Can I make it work? What if queen here? that and then what g5 g4 maybe or queen here knight g4 this is tough all right let's go with the knight there bishop there yeah he takes this one do we care i don't know all right bishop here i'm mating may i he went there queen h3 Queen h3. Can he defend? Can he defend after queen h3? He has to give a second knight. But how about here then? Oh, he can't play h4 now. I should have gone to h3. It, oh, man. He has now h4. I wanted to take a look at f3 in case a knight goes there, takes, well, doesn't work anyway. All right, I have to take here now. I have to take there. He took uh, something. He took something there. How about knight f3 check? How about knight f3 check? And if the knight takes, then I'm mating it there. And if the queen takes, I'm mating here there. That should work. If a knight takes, I'm mating on h1. Oh, I missed that. Whoa. How could I miss that? How about attacking the queen? How about <clears throat> attacking the queen then? Now I'm again threatening mate. He has to play rook h1. 
Do I have anything? Other than taking the rook. Queen there. Wow. If I take here, he takes. I can't check. If queen takes, takes, take the rook. Am I winning then? He will have one, two pieces and I will have three. Did I have a mate there some, somewhere? I think rook h1 maybe would have been better by him. I also had ideas like this, but too slow. I think I should take that rook. I'm a piece up. I'm low on a lot of uh, pawns though. Low on a lot of pawns. Let's take that pawn. So he has one, two, three, four, five pawns. And I have four. So I'm good. Yes, that is possible. Check. Uh, that was stupid. That was very stupid, but let's come here. Okay. All right, let's go here then. Or here. Let's go there. All right. I want this now. Maybe I can get him. Let's put this bishop here. I'm low on time, but <clears throat> other than that, I think uh, I think we'll be all right. Let's go here. He has to go back because what else? And now rook here is good. Go in there, and then maybe I'll pin the knight. E4 is taken. That one is taken from the knight. This one is taken from the knight. Whoa. He likes to play uh, hard. F4, G3, F, F, F here. Let's drive that knight back. Let's drive that knight back. All right. Let's come here, attack a pawn. Okay, can I take here? Let's do it. Let's take that pawn. <clears throat> it's falling apart now. I hope I don't lose on time before that. All right, that's okay. Let's go for those pawns. All the squares are covered here, no problem. Let's push that up. The pawn is pinned. Knight went there. Take that pawn. Mm. 
it's hard it's hard to do anything here let's take that pawn I give him my bishop for that pawn the queen yeah that's a queen there he can give a check but that's all he can do really all right I come here yeah it's time to to win it's time to win check yep ah, all right let's see if that attack was good or not let's analyze this let's start with the beginning d5 bishop g5 levitsky attack knight f6 uh -huh. e6 let's put the engine on all right book on as you can hear probably the construction work is uh going well uh yeah e3 bishop e7 and now c3 hmm. of course i played c5 takes takes and now takes the pawn and that's not book all right i played a5 b4 doesn't really work because if i take and he takes i take the rook so he really needs a6 doesn't work either because then the rook is pinned so he couldn't defend this i can take that he went there i dare i took the pawn and now a6 maybe or g6 would have been good i'm better here apparently minus 0 0.6 but after this i'm still better that's a bit of a loss of a time and it's kind of kind of questionable whether taking that pawn is good or not especially if you want to castle kingside then this rook is already in place in uh, in position for cha 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 all right g6 would have been good king e7 and i don't like it when my king is this open you know i like it when he's tucked in but this would have been good apparently I went for e5 which uh, really forced him to go here because he can't go back I just fork him so this was the only option here I played e4 taking taking would have been better but I didn't want the queen here so I shut the door forced him to take and now I was thinking maybe this is good but apparently it isn't yeah ah, maybe it is it's gonna it's around equal i uh prefer to take this one and then the knight went there and this is also completely equal he pinned me and now castling is good yeah i went there and this is also equalish and now he should have taken my knight before it gets there yeah this was a mini blunder here not taking my knight because now it went there castles and this is now bad but not because of queen g4 i have a feeling that was a blunder it's not on the radar this would have been good forcing h3 and then queen b8 and i'm still getting to there yeah forcing f5 maybe 
but then I take there and it all collapses. All right, I missed that. I went there the queen and then this is a steel eagle, apparently. He went there and yeah, yeah, this, this would have been good. Put the rook here, the bishop defends it, this pawn doesn't fall and you still have your attack. And if these pawns fall here on the queen side, it's not such a big tragedy if you mate in the meantime. This would have been good. But I thought I'm, uh, I am have a good attack here and I went there. And apparently that's a blunder. Queen takes. And now bishop e5, what I did. But f4 is good. And if you take on passant, and he just takes with the knight and he is good. He's defending everything and I'm down a lot of pawns. Yeah, yeah. But after bishop e5, he went g3. Allowing me to continue my attack. Now here is where I wanted to come initially. And wow, he can run. I missed that completely. I thought I'm mating if this happens but he can run quite simply can he after he's covered by the knights maybe a perpetual with bishop g3 is already in order here yeah so rook moving so moving the rook was an option i thought he has to give up a knight after this and he defends h2 and I can't really continue. Or can I? It looks like I'm winning still. Come here, defend that. He might take a pawn. I play here. He goes back. How do I continue the attack here? What's the, what's the point? Coming with the knight deflecting his knight. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is still winning. I went here and now I dropped my advantage, but not because of h4, but by simply going out of the mate and running away. He went h4 and I'm winning again because I can sack my knight. And if he takes here, then check. He has to come up. And then I go there and what if that happens then check here he goes there I check him here he takes and I'm mating nice okay well that didn't happen after that he took the Queen and now I had this idea this brilliant idea of Knight f3 Sometimes I'm <clears throat> amazed of my brilliance. Yeah. And I miss that. Of course, if knight takes, then mate there. And if queen takes, then mate there. This is all I saw. I didn't see that he can actually play king g2. Luckily, this is still good because of knight takes. And now I thought this. And I was thinking about taking the rook, but that is losing because my rook is hanging. What I should have done is knight e4 here, if this happens. And I'm still winning, same material as in the game. Yeah, okay. So after this he went there and now I can just simply trade down into winning end game and Basically, there's no point going forward. I gave a check, he went there. Initially, I thought I blew it, but no, I have rook e4. And after this, I went there, and f4, and bishop back to c7, allowing this rook to come in the game. And from here on, it's really minus eight, so there's no point in watching what happened next. Really, this was just... Uh, Just attacking the pawns, taking the pawns, and that's it. All right, good game with a little luck here. <sighs>
Thanks for watching and uh, check out some of the other games. See you soon. Bye bye.